when we think about giving interview we feel very nervous okay because we think interview is something which is very difficult to crack okay and when it comes for the big four interview we feel very nervousness okay this is why i am going to take a small catch up or a small conversation with a person who has recently given a interview at deloitte okay at big four okay about the us tax season so i i'm going to talk with him how will his interview will uh, went okay and how was his experience and what from those experience from his experience you can teach and you can apply in the your interview okay believe me interviews are very easy the something which we should remember is confidence confidence is key and by confidence we can crack any interview in any point of view okay so watch this video very carefully okay without skipping any part and learn something from it and apply in your interview okay hope you will be like this channel okay so thank you so much for coming uh, live with me okay sasan okay well uh, let me introduce as a formal introduction will be our having mr sasan with us okay who has given a deloitte interview recently correct okay and we are taking a interview of sasank not an interview we are just uh, having conversation how did he face the interview okay and how he cracked the interview and how was his experience overall actually okay so will sasank i know you actually personally uh, because you are my member okay but uh, mm-hmm. other members are not uh, known uh, to you okay so if you can uh, introduce yourself and tell who are you and what you do okay and what's your plan in future that will be great uh Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Shashank Reddy. I completed my CA intern in 2019, and I gave a couple of attempts uh, for CA final, but I couldn't clear it. So now I'm pursuing my US CPA. So I want to do job uh, so that I can fund my CPA expenses as well. That is why I gave interview with Deloitte. Actually. Okay, so you are a uh, you are you are pursuing CA or CPA? Correct. Yes, yes. Okay, you are working both actually, and you are searching job in US taxation. Yes, yes. Actually, it was Australian taxation profile, not US. Okay. I okay. gave interview. Okay. When did you give that uh, interview at Deloitte? Yesterday itself. Yesterday. Okay, so I hope your interview was very uh, good. Uh, so we'll ask a couple of questions. How was your experience and all? Okay, and uh, was that. Was that your first interview uh, with uh, Deloitte, or earlier you had also attempt with Deloitte on any big four? No, it was my first attempt. It was my first interview at Deloitte. Okay, and not at any big four earlier. No, no, no. This is my first. Okay. So how did you find that interview? I mean, uh, were you uh, nervous because it was your first interview, maybe uh, for the big four? Yes, I was a bit nervous, but the interview made me feel uh, comfortable actually. Yes, actually, we do that. Yeah. Okay. So before going to the interview, or uh, let's talk about a uh, wasn't. Uh, I hope you have given the wasn't for this. And uh, how was the? Uh, I mean, wasn't was that very hard to crack, or it was easy, easy for you? Not really. Wasn't is actually easy to crack, but except that uh, storytelling part, uh, we have three questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. the guy will uh, say a story for 30 seconds we have to remember it and we have to read it read all the story that right. was a bit difficult part but rest of the thing uh, was quite easy actually so uh, let me ask you uh, something uh, suppose i am giving uh, the voice and test okay i suppose i am a uh, professor how should i go with voice and should i be having a good accent okay or should i be go should i go with my natural accent uh, which i am having right now So what should I do if I am a person going for the voice and round? Natural accent is actually better. Uh, accent doesn't really matter. What matters is your listening skills. How okay. long? Uh, how well you can remember the things. Okay. Okay. Accent doesn't doesn't really what matter. What about a BPT? Uh, after voice and test, you must have given the BPT. Any major section yes. we should focus on BPT? What are the section we should focus? If you can tell. Actually, it, uh, it was a co-cube test. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Aptitude was asked, and Excel and basic uh, finance uh, accounting questions were asked. So the toughest part would be the Excel, actually. So uh, if I know the basics uh, of uh, finance, Excel, 
missing then yes I'm yes yes i'm and uh, and also aptitude is important and logical reasoning uh, is included in aptitude that uh, we can find those videos in youtube okay so not a big problem is not a big problem right yes what yes can crack it if they know the basics correct yes yes so no the accounts hard. questions the accounts questions were uh, all basic itself no there were no tough questions asked mm -hmm. so i mean uh, if someone is uh, known to the basics they should not worry about much that uh, what extra they can ask because everything will come under basics uh, if i know it right correct yes yes mostly so, uh, basics will be covered mostly it's basics but uh, you have to know why the uh, the actual if the capital comes on the liability side but the reason why it comes uh, we need to be confident about that we need so to the you, reason why cap comes on liability you, that's you, example for example okay so did you prepare for what and uh, i mean uh, did you practice it or you just went and you get that test no actually i watched a few videos about versant in youtube before attempting the exam okay so you did on uh, that practice correct yeah, yes yes okay. yes so uh, if i want to do practice if any person want to do practice uh, what is the basic source or maybe the any source where uh, they can practice okay uh, is there anything which you use i uh, i have practiced from a youtube channel called the aptitude guy correct Yeah, actually, that's in more than enough. Oh uh, no! Uh, in that video, you must have seen how wasn't test are given. But for yes, practice, yes, yes. suppose uh, uh, I want to practice how to speak. Okay. For that, did you practice or uh, some there? Not really. I didn't practice it in. Okay. And uh, for uh, everyone information, uh, let me tell at our channel also there are a lot of videos for the wasn't where how yeah. to practice and. There are a lot of tips given by me as for my students yes. how to crack it very easy. So if you are going to give the version, you can go and check that video. Okay. So yes. uh, let me uh, ask you very uh, gently. I uh, hope you have seen my video of uh, giving uh, interview yes. how to give the interview, yes. and I have also yes, given yes. the proper questions and answer for interview question which they can ask. What do you think? Uh, yes. Did that help uh, to you, or you think should I? Add anything else? What do you? Yes, actually it did. Uh, actually, it did help me uh, to know the glance of the interview, to know how the interview goes. Okay. And uh, what are what about questions which I had given over there? And did uh, questions match the in interview, or is it around the uh, questions which are uh, they actually ask you? Anything? Uh, actually, the level of questions were actually same. But uh, similar, but not same. Yes, of course, it will be not yes. same because every time when they tell you, they are going to change the question. But yes, the concept, yes. the areas they are concepts. Yes. Areas. Ah, uh, suppose uh, I discuss about tax. Okay, they must yes. be asking about tax. Okay, they may ask yes. different yes. question about tax, but the concept will be same. Correct. Okay. Yes. I hope my videos are helping professors. Ah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. It was quite helpful. Yeah, it was quite helpful. Thank you so much. Okay, so in interview, uh, first I would like to ask, how did you prepare yourself for the interview? Okay, apart from watching my video, did you do anything else for uh before attempting the attempting the interview, or it was you you were very confident about that you will be cracking it? How did you prepare yourself for interview? I wasn't much confident uh, before the interview. Uh, that's why I missed it. You know. Uh, Actually, uh, apart from watching your videos, I watched another video in the Aptitude Guy, uh, which gave what the probable questions might be asked. So I prepared. Most of the uh, the time, I just brushed up the basics. Mm -hmm. So every time I say, uh, whenever I talk to someone uh, about the interview, I tell only one rule: that confidence is uh, key. Yes, okay, so yes, yes. is that a good uh, advice? Confidence is the key. Yeah. In the interview. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, confidence is actually the main thing. As interview also makes you comfortable. Oh. Yes, actually, uh, when you give interview for the big force, what we do uh, in a first uh, uh, first meet that we make them feel very comfortable. 
we make them feel very friendly okay that's so that they can uh, feel very comfortable while talking okay and sometimes when someone is making you very comfortable be uh, remember it don't be so friendly okay do not consider your interviewer as a friend okay yes they are making you feel that they are your friend but they are not your actual friend so maintain that uh, professional gap okay between you and interviewer that is the advice i would like to give to the freshers okay and uh, yes was that hard the in deloitte interview was that hard to crack or it was like uh, okay uh, that can be cracked anyone can crack so it's pretty much easy to crack not yeah. difficult at all so uh, i believe that big force uh, interviews when we take interviews uh, it is actually very easy okay questions are easy this is how you are going to approach the question how confident you are and how you are assuring me that you will be learning everything that matters a lot so correct so did you feel that okay and what are all the areas uh, they touched in the interview if you can uh, divide into some sections like accounting uh, tax uh, yeah uh, the first was a few hr round questions and after that few accounting questions and after that few taxation questions and after that uh, the questions uh, regarding what have you done your article okay so yeah, uh, the first they... did they ask anything about excel yes i mean they didn't ask any questions on excel they just asked whether uh, you know excel or not correct so many of uh, freshers are uh, do ask with this question that whether they are going to dig down into the excel part yes they will try to know if you know the excel or not but they will not they are not going to ask you the formulas they are not going to ask you tabs okay they are not going to ask you any uh, equation how you will be uh, going over there so they would like to know if you know excel or not okay because excel is something which is used by big fours like 90% of job is done on the excel when it is coming for us taxes or any taxes okay that's why they want to know if they if you know tax or uh, excel or not okay so if you can remember uh, something uh, some questions uh, about each and section which was important if you can remember and tell us that will be great yeah sure the first question was uh, what have you done your article ship mm-hmm. and my article ship uh, revolved around tax return filing so they did ask me about few questions on the journal entry of uh, gst when goods purchased and when goods sold and uh, journal entries on the machine purchased and journal entries on depreciation mm-hmm. and uh, difference between uh, capital expenditure and revenue expenditure and uh, difference between direct expense and indirect expense and uh, that's it about tax and those was uh, tax uh, regarding the difference between the direct tax and indirect tax and uh, uh, the different for forms of itr form 1 form 2 form 3 and not n- nothing much about tax it was mostly of accounts actually just just basic questions of what is tax or something like that what is gst so across how many questions they asked you uh, in from technical uh, point of view it was just five or six that's it that's it nah? and did they ask you anything about us taxes or australian taxes and because you are giving me yeah, yes so there yeah yes what they did ask me uh, uh they did ask me why did you apply for australian tax and what do you know about australian tax so i said i don't know anything oh. and oh. she she explained uh-huh. okay was there any point uh, during your entire interview where you feel, you felt that you were stuck you don't know something okay you don't know the answer okay was there any part any moment uh, in your entire interview where you forgot the answer so you okay you are up to the mark okay you were giving every yeah. answers okay okay so here also i would like to bring a uh, one uh, notice that if they ask you about us taxes they know that you are a fresher and you are applying for us taxes for first time and you are not known to us taxes so if you don't know anything about us taxes they are pretty much okay and they are going to explain you in a training but sometimes what be fresher do be try to go into deep okay we try to 
bring our little knowledge about us taxation and we want to impose like something like that we are we know everything about us taxation and they are interviewer catch you and they dig you down okay so thing to avoid if you don't know anything just admit okay as sasan said that i don't know that okay and interviewer will be pretty much okay because they know they are going to teach you everything in the training right sasan so from your uh, resume from your resume what did they ask you uh, apart from your article sheet which you mentioned what did they ask you about uh, your interview okay how did they start the interview uh, if i would like to ask they started with uh, just tell me something about yourself and uh, why deloitte why taxation australia taxation and after that three questions uh, they started asking technical questions a couple of few questions at the last uh, like uh, how comfortable are you working late hours how yeah. comfortable are you working at weekends at the peak hours correct and your future plans regarding ca final or cpa that that's it everything which i have mentioned in our, our video of interview because yes, you are going to yes, yes. so that you are uh, fit and you are you will be okay or not so when uh, they ask you why do like what was your uh, answer if you can uh, articulate for us because many of us get confused what to answer so how did you answer yes, that question uh, my answer was uh, deloitte being one of the big four companies offers global exposure and also uh, offers rich uh, experience as well as rewarding challenging and also it adds weight to my resume okay that's it so you answer in that way <laughs> okay that that will add a weight in your resume okay that was pretty much a uh, awkward answer but okay if you uh, were very comfortable answering in such manner then uh, that was okay because yes uh, adding uh, to get some those company to add weightage in your resume is i think that will be a, a wrong answer okay but yes of course uh, it it depends on the interviewer how they uh, perceive your answer okay every interviewer has a different uh, bench of uh, judging okay your uh, answers okay so that depends on the interviewers of course okay so uh, which area of finance uh, did they ask question about accounting uh, they ask you the basics and journals okay did they touch about uh, pnl uh, journal entry uh, trial balance uh, balance sheet did they ask something from uh, those yeah So, uh, regarding balance sheet, they just ask the depreciation. What happens uh, when a company purchases a plant and machinery? What happens next year, and how it impacts balance sheet, PML? That was the only question. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, yes, few thing uh, which I would like to ask uh, on the psychological uh, level. When suppose I am the fresher, when I was a fresher actually, when I attended first interview of my life, when I was. going to uh, get a mba college okay so they asked me one simple very simple uh, question who is the prime minister of india okay and believe me believe me what i answered okay i answered modi okay that was correct okay but he asked me full what is the full name okay give some respect and i was totally totally stuck i didn't know the name okay i knew the name okay in my mind but i was not able to uh, speak it out uh, in front of them okay as i am from bihar they asked me okay who is the uh, okay something they asked me who is the uh, i mean minister of uh, education something okay and th- there also i just answered in a short manner okay because i was blank okay so in uh, deloitte interview okay did you feel as you said you did felt blank uh, at any time but were you nervous were you uh, thinking were you thinking uh, what would be the outcome of my interview how i am going how i am doing were you nervous in back of your mind yes i was a bit nervous at the start but after few minutes uh, it just got carried away it got carried away okay because you managed uh, yourself yes <laughs> yes and one more important question asked was the steps of accounting Uh, like okay. first we need to steps of accounting process okay. uh, first general entries and let your trial balance mm-hmm. this was the question yeah. see uh, uh, 
very frankly when you are actually working at us tax session or maybe australian tax session these things will not come okay but the reason they are asking because everything is added everything is uh, uh, what i would say connected with accounting connected with the accounting okay if you know the basics okay if they are uh, making you work on us tax session or maybe excel if you know the concept why we are using it okay that will be easy for you to work that is why they want to make sure you know the uh, basics if you don't know the basics it will be hard for them to train you because in training they assume that you are known to the basics of everything that is why they are giving you training at a higher level if you don't know the basics they cannot go at geo level and give you training because that will cost them very much and they will it will be costing of time and the money also so okay uh, i did ask you about the nervousness and one point which you would uh, like to suggest fresher okay to keep in uh, in uh, their mind okay while sitting for the interviewer okay for the interview okay what point something very important which i should consider okay as a fresher when i am going to give the interview the uh, the most important would be you should not panic and uh, just say no if you don't know anything just don't give partial answers because uh, they'll go deep into it yeah. and just be confident as you said what if what if if i get panic what if when you are a sitting for the interview okay assuming okay they yes. really ask you something and you got panic what would you have done over there in front of the interview what can be done if you can tell by your experience uh, just don't answer the question just, just be silent for few seconds and just think and you can ask them just uh, to give them few seconds of time when i take interview uh, okay when i take interview uh, interview for my uh, candidates okay when i think that uh, someone i mean the interview is getting uh, stuck okay they are getting nervous okay what i accept if i was a, a candidate i would say sir can can i get back to this question after some times can you ask can you move on to a different question because i think i know it but that is not coming from my uh, mouth okay so can we get back to this question later so this is what i expect a candidate should tell me if they are getting panicked or if they are getting stuck at any uh, question okay but yes what happens in actual way when i am taking someone interview okay if they are getting stuck they try to overcome it okay they try to they try to answer it in a wrong way they try to answer they try to fake it okay that is what that is where we caught uh, catch them and that is the negative point for the candidate so you can frankly tell that is a uh, very okay that uh, see deep uh, right now i don't think i can remember this question but i can get back to this uh, later but yes of course i would like i would be learning it very quickly because i am a quick learner that is something which we can say okay and that can be avoided okay so uh, any tips as you already said be confident for the faces uh, about okay and if i would like to ans- uh, ask you from a personal point of view what did you uh, choose the international tax whether it is us tax or australian tax that is doesn't matter what did you uh, choose the international tax why why not indian tax as you were pursuing ca now you are pursuing cpa that is us okay why did you choose the international tax if you can answer it um, the main reason was because i am pursuing us cpa so i thought uh, any of the big four experience will match uh, my course and my job experience it would help to grow my career that was the primary reason okay and uh, see uh, actually when you are a fresher you don't know anything about australian tax uh, so yes, yes. do you get a such kind of uh, i mean a uh, force in your mind that whether i am uh, going to do fine in australian tax or whether i am going to get a uh, i mean draw back in australian tax do you, did, uh, do you get such kind of question in your mind and no because, not no not really because you are certain that it will be uh, good right so yes, yeah yes. that is important whatever you are doing be certain that yes i am going to do fine okay yes and okay so 
okay i think i am out of question but there is lot of question which is in my mind okay i had prepared some uh, points okay which is uh, not showing on my screen okay that is okay that is fine but yes uh, i would like to give you uh, some I, i would like to ask some uh, question okay suppose i am taking your interview okay there is some questions which i actually asked uh, to the interviewers okay and uh, my candidates okay so if i can ask okay what is your strength and weakness yes that they did ask me um, what is your strength and weakness i said i can work for long hours i can and i'm a quick learner and i can adapt to any environment and weakness this was my strength a uh, weakness a uh, procrastination a bit a bit of procrastination okay and, and I, i just i'm working on it okay Okay. and uh, as you know uh, suppose i am taking you interview okay so let's assume that as you know that during busy season it will be like you are working at uh, till 16 hours uh, 14 hours 12 hours maybe mm-hmm. or maybe sometimes 18 hours are also so how you are going to manage your day okay that is your life balance and your work balance because it will be very frustrating okay that is i am very uh, very frank with you it will be like very frustrating you will feel like uh, let's not do this job how would you manage your time your mind in that situation yeah my answer was uh, as i completed article ship i was pretty much okay with it because i used to work long hours during my article ship uh, when the taxation season when filing especially individual returns in the june and july season so uh, that that's not a new thing for me so yes as you were doing a uh, ca okay that is really good but why did you choose again uh, the international tax okay why didn't you pursue your uh, career into indian taxes and only why the switch actually i applied uh, applied for the jobs but i didn't get a call so uh, it's like substitute <laughs> at, in- yes, yes 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 anything would be fine i have applied oh. for all jobs okay that that is where i would like to get some clarity you should have given the clarity no i would like to go into australian tax only okay so you give them two answers okay that is okay that is that is not good okay well uh, it was nice talking to sasank uh, i felt very uh, good because uh, you gave your precious time okay for a greater good um, when faces would like would see this video they will understand how experience how is the experience of giving interview at big four like deloitte okay because that deloitte is a big boss of big four okay so it was nice talking to you actually okay and i hope all the faces watching this video will get help uh, from this uh, video okay yes thank you for inviting me okay. thank you so much because in short thank time you. only i i talked to you today only and you were yeah. ready to give your time okay and i hope my videos are helping okay yes yes and yes so if you can uh, give any uh, tips to the professors or uh, maybe people who is watching our channel what should do they should they follow our channel uh, for uh, in a trustful manner or what they should do anything anything on our channel your feedback okay uh channel on the feedback on channel would be first uh, to watch the videos on the what the interview there are i think for six videos i guess there are six, first watch all of them so you'll get an idea how an interview goes and after that uh, you can watch multiple videos on what type of questions will be asked and also follow the channel regularly for the updates thank you thank you so much and one more uh, important point uh, apart from this uh, interview on all uh how do you search a uh, job okay forget about that you uh, gave the interview for uh, the like how actually in your uh, real life how do you search your jobs okay mostly it was through linkedin okay it was through linkedin and nokri okay you use a uh, linkedin okay so you LinkedIn find and nokri you find job and you apply directly yes yes this job also i got uh, from linkedin itself mm-hmm. yes linkedin linkedin is some uh, something a uh, uh, great uh, very very great platform for the freshers where we can find job if we do in a right manner 
Okay, that is a great point. So thank you, Susan. Once again, I am very obliged that you were uh, part of the our this conversation. This is this time. I think this is the first time we are making such kind of video. Okay, for, okay, for the viewers. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank uh, you, Deepak. Yeah, have okay. a great night ahead. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> bye bye.